I'm Wendy from Wendy's Toy Box, and you're watching Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. You like how Mitch is all like ready to go because he's been hiding in the cabinet this whole time? <laughs> all, all of season one he was hiding in the cabinet just waiting. Let me out. That, that's where all the strange noises were that we were just hearing. He was I thought like, the place was just haunted. Is it my turn guys? Oh, oh gosh. Ready? This ain't my first radio. Rodeo. Yeah, Are you same. already <laughs> already stuttering, bro? Already. There's... Well, he's from radio. So I, for I'm him, from radio. radio. He has a face for radio. Uh. Yo, what's up, Toy Freaks? Oh wait, that's it's not that kind of show, right? Oh, Toy Geeks. Okay, my bad. Wrong show, guys. Here we go. Welcome to another episode of Toy Geeks Behind the Counter, your weekly fix of everything art, artists, events, toy designers, vinyl toys, plush, pop, and more. Damn. My name's Mitchell de Guzman. I'm the new guy. The new guy. And I'm Ben Gorecki, <laughs> the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jack Ventura, and welcome to Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. <laughs> I'm already <sighs> exhausted. Come on, it's only episode three. Woo! Amazing. It's Epis lit. It's so lit. Welcome, welcome, Mitch. This is awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm I'm very blessed to be here. I, I uh, why am I qualified to even be a host? I uh, we're gonna find his, that out. Yeah, because you work at 3D Retro. That's well, why. Well, work at 3D Retro Eventually. for the last six months. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I've done. Uh, I've worked for two LA radio stations. Ooh. Uh, major LA radio station, so that was cool. Ooh. And uh, I do weddings every weekend, so that's yeah. a good time. And mm -hmm. now I I'm now get to be a toy geek. And, and you've always been a toy geek. Yeah. But you're you. But most important out of everything you've done in your life, you're a clerk at 3D Retro. This yes. is your home base. And guess where I used to live. At Glendale adjacent <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> That's nice. And this is Burbank adjacent, and yeah. this is it's like ten minutes away. Can I do it? What the address? I'll let you do it. Okay, here we go. You never let me do it because it doesn't work when you do it. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, moving on. I can do it. Do it. Remember, everyone, that we still need to pick an artist of the month. Mm -hmm. So please get on your Facebook pages right now, your facey bookies, and put on there and tag your favorite artist of the month so that we can pick. Next episode, we gotta pick an artist of the month right away. Take a picture of how you watch the show on Instagram and tag us and post us. Post it on Instagram and then we, you're on the show just like these fine folks that have been on the show because they posted on Instagram mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. like you just did now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll regram it, post you on your show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What else? You see, you sound a lot better when you, it sounds so much better when you do it. What else, Jack? Send us a cold open video. <laughs> you know, the, the show can't begin unless somebody opens it up. And all you gotta do is you take your phone out and you go, hey, I'm Jack from jackaramba.com and you're watching Toy Geek Behind the Counter. And then you email that to info at toygeeks.com and then we put you on the show. We just want you on the show. Promote your work, promote yourself, promote your website, promote whatever you want. Mm. That's it. Oh, is that it? That's it. I was going to do the next thing, but if that's it, it's okay. Yeah. All right. What else? What are uh, we doing? Real quick, this Thursday, yeah. Rex and I were doing a special mix on the Toy Geeks uh, Instagram Live. Ooh. So make sure you guys follow us, okay? At Toy Geeks BTC for Behind the Counter. At Toy Geeks BTC. We're doing a special mix right here at 3D Retro Live at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you know, we're going to post a flyer and uh, comment on the, on the section below of what songs you want to hear. It's going to be all toy-related songs. It's going to be you and the DJ Rex? DJ Rex. DJ Rex. Okay, only on the Toy Geeks BTC Instagram. Nice. I'm be asleep at 9, but that's all right. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Real quick, can we get this party started? Yeah, let's do it. Let's we get this party started. When Jack asked me to be on the show, 
Mm-hmm. He um he was like, hey, you want to be on the show? It was all through text, and I was like, of course I want to be on the show. And he sent me a little champagne bottle, Ooh. and I was like, does that mean I get to bring champagne on my first episode? And he's like, sure. I didn't bring champagne today, but I mm-hmm. did bring sake. Yes. Oh all the way from Japan. And I know this isn't Ooh. like a, a, a alcoholic beverage review, uh-huh, uh-huh, but uh-huh. I just wish we had someone from Japan that could help us drink this sake. Wait a minute, wait, wait. It's funny that you say that because we do have a special guest today from Japan. No way. Yes. Arigato. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Whatever he said. Um, <laughs> let's introduce our guest. Let's do it. It's Raina Koyano, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. The sake comes here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Welcome. You're here, yay. This, uh, here, this will make you feel better. Yes. All right, so <laughs> let's, uh, as, while he's pouring, just tell everybody <laughs> you who pour. you are, what you do, what are you doing here? Yes. Um, hi, guys. I'm Raina. I'm an artist based here in LA. Um, I do a collection mm-hmm. called Soul Fatale, where I reimagine iconic sneakers into really cool female figures. So. Now you are originally from Japan, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So awesome. Okay, so we got that right. Thank you for sake. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Guys. Oh, oh, how real. do we oh. toast oh. in Jap- Jap- Japan? Yeah. Okay. Japan? Japanese. So hold your, hold your cups and okay. glasses and say kanpai. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Kanpai! And now we can actually... Guys, we where's drink. mine? Oh, the Kevin. Kevin. The Kevin. Hey, the Kevin timeout. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm drinking. To that. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, that's that's really do you approve? Good. Yes, I do. Ooh, yeah, good awesome. choice. Wow, the first Drunk Toy Geeks episode. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Raina, you said you're an artist, and you, y- what is what is Soul Fatale to the people that do not know? Um, Soul Fatale is, um, it's basically my interpretation of sneaker art, where I take iconic sneakers and Jordans, especially Jordans and Air mm-hmm. Maxes, and um, I reimagined them as like god goddess-like figures. Ooh. Now there's this term out there called like sneaker heads. Would you say that you're a sneaker head? Yeah, yeah. So you collect sneakers that? too? I do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, you actually got these oh, and we, we yes. got the delivery for you. Oh you my gosh, right. thank you. Thank you. We got you. a delivery Almost for forgot. you right there. So what is the, these are the these are the types of shoes, the Jordans that you were talking about, mm-hmm. and oh, what? Mitch, oh, what do you thank have? You. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember this at Decon this year. Decon, Decon. I Ask saw her booth, <laughs> and I bought five prints. And five. Then she re Instagram me, nice. and she said I was her like her number one seller and buyer well, for the see. week. Let's see. Here, here, check them all out. Oh yeah. man, these cover are her my up. favorite. No, don't cover me, <laughs> dude. Oh, oh, I like that oh, one. Oh, that's that one. one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. No, 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 this one. <laughs> no, this, this is one. definitely Wait a minute. Uh, this is mine here. This is for me. That's for you right there. This Those is mine, No, right? these belong to Mitch. Oh. But you, if you want yours, don't you, you, you get have it? to get it from Reina. Yeah, but when you come to the show, you bring things. They get no, to be no. passed around. No, so this is my favorite. And th- mm. because I am a huge Back to the Future fan, I actually, I think I saw this either mm. on... High Snobiety or Hype Beast, because you've been featured on both of those big blogs. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing because this is the shoe from Back to the Future, which is the Air Mag. And um, we did something special with this, which we Yay. need to talk about. Well, because let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So we took this. That's that. And we turned oh it God. into this. Wait, what's in this box? Oh, it's shoes. Just shoes. Just shoes. See it. Nobody cares about shoes. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so you open it. Tell oh tell tell people what what oh. we're opening here. First of all, nice box. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Desi- designed by her, actually. But you know. No, I like the. Yeah. All right. Open. 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 Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. Let's open. It, open. Open. It's a open magnetic it. flap. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Look mm-hmm. at that. Has your soul fatale on now, there. Now, when is this coming out? The official release for this is March 3rd. And it's going to be here. This Saturday. With food trucks. Is there going to be a food truck? There's going to be food trucks. Is she going to be there? She's going to be there. Is she going to be signing stuff? This is going to be there. She's going to be signing stuff. Open it! It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. So lit. Okay. Okay. Nice. I love it. It's like a shoe box. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. Size 15? Wow, that's mm -hmm. a big shoe. Ooh, okay, I'm taking it out. Sorry. Okay. Do oh, it, do man. it, do it. Look at this. Don't worry, it won't break. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is amazing. There All right, so what are we looking at here? You got to tell us. So here is my Air Mac Girl. Um, you saw the illustration earlier, and this is the 3D rendition of it, yes. which is incredible. Yes. So Let me see that paint painting again, the print. Yes. Mm. Shall, we, shall we compare? Yeah, let's see. Uh, so uh, first thing that we like to notice is that it looks just like the R2. It does. It does. Thank goodness for that. Yes. Because I really don't like when things don't look like the art. We don't do that at 3D and Retro. <laughs> no, no, no. Debatable. No, 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 no. little debatable. I need another drink. But this <laughs> <laughs> You're driving me to drink. All right. That's amazing. It really that's is. That's amazing. Look at that. The, the paint color. The paint. I mean, I know it's from the print, the painting, but like that as a figure itself, the mm. shading of it, there's a lot of light, a lot of like... Yeah. Contour texture, like it's just, it's a beautiful piece. The sculptor is an amazing sculptor, but her name is Whitney Mitchell. And uh, Whitney does sculpting for all the major studios, all the major brands. Nice. When can we make this one? It's coming. Well, we've got. Well, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Exclusive. Now, no, we will. We'll, we're. When I want this one. I, I know what you want. <laughs> but it's not up to you, it's up to her. No, it's, don't don't let him do that. To you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, first. so March third, um, we're finally releasing this to the public. Mm -hmm. In you know, in it's still not mass produced. It's still no. limited. Limited to, well, we limited it to um, a thousand pieces worldwide. Oof. Um. So, this Saturday, come to Three D Retro, eat some food truck stuff, mm -hmm. meet her, mm -hmm. get that. And you're gonna sign that if somebody wants it signed? Yes, I will. Are yeah. you gonna have some of your prints? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, oh, you yeah. gotta get some of the prints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially Beautiful. if you want any Nikes or Jordans that you have on display at home, you just oh put God. it right by it and it's, oh. yeah. it's a vibe. It's a vibe. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way it turned Jeez. out as the producer of this and I can't wait to do more. So do you collect toys as well? I collect some toys. All right. Well, then let's get on to the stuff that you didn't make. Mm. Wait, uh, is this shelf worthy? Oh, a oh. thousand times. Yeah, percent. a thousand percent. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> shelf worthy. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. That's another shelf. That means it's going shelf. up there. Oh, okay. what? Oh, that's that's awesome. It stays there for a whole month. No there you way. Go. Well, but that's like next weekend, so it's over. Oh, yeah. it's, <laughs> but it's okay. It'll be there during during the event. But, so but it's good. a three retro, so it goes on the special shelf forever. Forever oh and ever. The so poo poo hard. shelf. No. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, so what do we got first? The Let's review some toys. Okay. Of Innocence Dunny. Oh, that right. sounds What's this dark. About? I hate it already. <laughs> Um, this is a new 8-inch Dunny Looking made by uh, Igor Ventura. That's my cousin! Not Venturo. Oh. Ventura. Uh, do you collect Dunnies? Um, no, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, this will be great then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody collects Dunnies. People collect Dunnies still. This thing is heavy. Um, oh, wow. So this is a new take on the Dunnies. They actually mm. did it like a what? rocking Whoa. horse. Oh, oh I've yes. seen that on Instagram. Oh. I actually love this thing. <laughs> That's so amazing. Actually I didn't know it was that big. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was like a little it's thing. It's an eight inch dunny. Now I this love this thing. This guy, once again, it's made by Kid Robot. It goes for $75. I love the rope on this thing. I think mm. Igor started as a customizer. And Kid Robot does this sometimes. They get customizers and they take their the stuff that they've customized and they made it into production figures. Look at the yeah. upside down heart. Oh, wow. Oh, I <laughs> love that nose. little oh, detail that's there. That's awesome. Oh, how cute. And look at the, like, there's like a wash on here to go into yeah. the little grooves mm -hmm. and everything. I love the, the like, wood texture on the, on exactly. the bottom. Mm -hmm. The fact that it rocks and it actually moves. It I mean, actually it's like, is a rocking horse. It's yeah. shelf worthy and desk worthy because you can, like, play with it. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit here and it's like, awesome. yeah, what do you want? And just, you know. <laughs> It's funny, I, I don't know if this is appropriate for the show. This might be my first trippy, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> the copyright circle is the little butthole. You, you see that? You want a trippy, don't you? And then it says Kid Robot <laughs> underneath. Oh my God. You want a trippy? Like, I love that. I Mitch, love, do like, you want a trippy? Oh, yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> There's your trippy. Wow. wow. Thank you, Trippy the Clown. <laughs> Wait, was that clean enough? All right, all right, all right. Move along, move along. Let's see the copyright. Yeah, that's the copyright. All right, Yeah. that's good. Um, I would say you can get these at 3D mm. Retro, but we've already sold out. I that. think it's shelf worthy. 
It is shelf. I think it's shelf worthy. What do you think, Mitch? I think it's one, two, three, shelf worthy! Wow, two for so, two. Wait, so we you can't use the, the Kevin shut up bell on the shelf worthy. It can't be the same <laughs> bell. <laughs> it's either gonna be the Kevin shut up bell or this has the to be I think this is the Kevin. It's gotta it's be the Kevin. The Kevin. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. All right. Oh, All right. That's enough sad. bell. Now put the thing on the shelf. All right. Here we go. We'll move on to the next thing. Shelf Gotta put it like sideways so it doesn't rock forward. Oh, yeah. You In don't case want it's it haunted, it just might rock forward on its own. If it starts rocking during the show, you know it's haunted you know, like it's your the gremlin. Kevin's ghost. Um, Why is he dead? All right. So what do we got next? Oh, what do yeah. we got next? Up next, we got these Futurama. Okay. Now you know how to do this, right? You got. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. It's fate. It's fate, yeah. Be okay. I do Where like five minutes of this, right? right. And then well, I throw it. You well, throw watch it. out for the sake. Yeah, One, yeah. two, three. All right, so see, right. this chose me, and oh, that chose okay. you. All right. This way you don't pick, because it's like, I want the heavy uh -huh. one. And I'm like, crap, we just, fate chose this. It. Do you guys like me. Futurama? I love Futurama. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is an episode of Futurama called Universe X, where they actually go into an alternate universe where everything is the opposite. Oh. So if you flip a coin in their universe and its heads, it would be tails in the other one. <laughs> if Fry asked Leela out on a date, and Leela said no in the regular universe, yeah, yes. she said yes in the alternate. I think I the, the opposite uh, so, idea there. But it's kind of a cop out because then it's like they made two Fry figures and all they had to do was change the colors around. Can we open them now? Yeah, oh, all right. Them. Good lord, he loves to talk about this. <laughs> what? But it's explaining it. what it is. There's no explaining, just open it. All right, let's take wait, a look wait, at these wait. guys. Oh my God! Tear it up! Tear it up! Ah. Ah. You're opening it so fast. I want! I want! I want! I want! I want! I want! Oh gosh, my savage! Oh, I hurt. love it! I wait, love wait. it! I got zip. Oh, uh. come yeah. on, kids! Ooh! Oh, you got what Bender. Why do I oh always get gosh. crap? Why did you get, you got he Hedonistic Bot. You get actual main characters, I get oh. side crap. Oh, oh. oh wait, are, you, are we matching? Right. Yes. Double. Double, <laughs> double <laughs> sadness, <laughs> double depression. <laughs> oh, mm, so. Yes. So, I got zip. Here, here, look what you got. Look, look, Jack, look, oh, yay. Oh, wow. Here's a little cigar. All right, let's put them all right here. All right, okay. And um, then what? I yeah. got a I got a new little game since oh. I'm on the show. I'm okay, I bring a game for you, Randy. Oh, okay. really? Okay. Are you ready are you, to play? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's so. the game? Okay. So, this game. Um, I, usually we have four different ones, but since we have a double, we have three, right? Yeah. Nice. So you're gonna pick <laughs> three. Math. <laughs> right. And it's called play, display, or destroy. Ah. So you have to play with one. Which one do you want to play with? Which one are you going to display? Which one are you going to destroy because you don't like it? Which one do you pick? You have to make play, a choice. Display, display, destroy. Destroy. A new, uh, this is a yeah. new Toy Geeks play, game. Display, new Toy Geeks game. Play, display, destroy. Yeah. That's the jingle? <laughs> Does it have to be in God, that order? Uh, take that bell. Give me that bell. <laughs> Give me that bell. I know Kevin ain't saying nothing no more because he's behaving himself. Play, display, oh. destroy. All which right, one so did you play one with? It? Which okay. one do you display? And which one do you... Chuck, destroy. Chuck? Sorry to all the Chucks who are watching currently. Hmm. No, no offense. Oh, I don't know. Um, I know it's a difficult game. Choose, okay. choose now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I think I will choose this one for play. Play, okay. Ziff, okay. really? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay. Which one do you? Ta -da. Which one play are you? With? Which one? That's that's play, right? That's mm -hmm. play. Oh yeah, that's play. Okay, that's mm -hmm. play. Now, which one are you gonna display? Dis I think display. I'm into this yes. one. Yes. Yes. With the little. But accessory. that's the one that. Okay, go ahead. You're not. This is not your game. But that one has accessories that you get to play with. Not so your the game. one that has accessories, you're just gonna leave it on the shelf and not, not touch. Not your game. Not yeah. your game. All right. So that. Means, I don't know how your mind that means works. But that's weird. Bot gets destroyed. <laughs> Kevin, we're destroying this. Bro, how did he catch No, it? I just can't hear it. Give it back. Oh, oh, oh. 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 No, oh. Kevin. That was on purpose. Oh, Where's Kevin. the bell? I get the bell back. Oh, oh this, this right. That's going to leave on Mark. Oh, okay. Uh, Why do you bring Are these shelf here? worthy? No, no, I don't think so. No. no, they're desk move worthy. Along, move along. They're yeah. desk worthy. All right, these are fun. All right. Okay. Uh, Last God. but not least, what do we got here? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Are you are you like a '90s cartoon kid? Not at all. Mm. She hates them. 
I'm from Japan, so. Oh, different cartoons. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> different countries. All right. Well, <laughs> different cartoons. So <laughs> it's this whole other country. Oh, really? <laughs> Is it like? Go, like, go ahead. Uh, okay, anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. These I saw at Toys R Us, and I'm like, oh my god, Meh. I have to have them. These are from Just Play Toys, and uh, I've seen other. Uh, like Ren and Stimpy in 90s, uh, Nick 90s cartoons done. Even Kid Robot did a whole thing on them. Now, these guys have the license for all of them. They have Rugrats. They have Hey Arnold. They have all all the stuff. I have to get the Ren and Stimpy. Do we open it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's open it. Are you going to open it? Are so here's, open here's the thing. I'm really bad at opening. So here's the thing. Why the difference between, like, designer vinyl toys that are licensed and other ones. That set right there... Cost twenty dollars. No oh. way. What? At Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to Toys R Us tonight. And this this big guy right here, and they have, like I said, they have Hey Arnold, they have Rugrats, they have all awesome. of them. These big ones cost ten dollars. No way. This is ten dollars. Ten bucks. Do you know where this be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Oh, I've never watched it though. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> look how good. And look, it has a little. Oh, booty, booty, booty bump thing! Like, it's amazing. Oh, he got his boogers. He has his little boogers. Who is this? The That's powder, powder toast, toast man. man. Powder toast man. And he he flies backwards. He, he does. flies like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. He does. He flies backwards. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so cute. Look at that. And then you have the you have the little boogers that go with him. Boogers. <laughs> well, yeah, he likes. He's he like <laughs> hey, boogers. <laughs> oh, they got log. Yeah. Oh, you see, you're gonna appreciate this. Everybody love. Wait, how does it go? Log, 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 log. No. It's log, log, log. It's log. It's, 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 that. it's wood. <laughs> it's wood. Yeah. It's, it's log. It's log. log. It's better than that. It's good. Yeah. There you go. Everyone and even wants watch the show. log. How does that even happen? And then you know, there's horseman. Mm, horseman. And all that good stuff. I think, like, for any Nicktoon fan, especially, like, if you grew up watching these, this is... And, mind you, we got, I got all the Ren and Stimpy stuff, but there's the sets mm -hmm. for the Rugrats. I don't think I don't see these as collectible figures. Okay. I mean, heck, I don't even see the Futurama things as really collectible figures. You shut figures. your mouth when you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you get it, right? They're oh, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like, you get, come it's on, a staple Mitch. for your childhood. Um, no, but I think, and the price point on these guys, I mean, a large figure with accessories, and I think the the, the Ren, this is Stimpy, this is the Ren one, actually, um, I've seen, because they didn't, they ran out at the Toys R Us that I went to, but uh, the eyes bulge out when you, like, press down on the head or something like that. Mm. It's so good. You know, this doesn't stand up either, and it's a problem. Take off the mask. Well, obviously. Yo, you still but you that. should be able to stand up with still the mask. still talking about that thing. All right, moving on. <laughs> No, I mean, they're cool. I, li I actually do like that this is actually glittered and powdered. Because it's yeah. powdered toast, man. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have to do that. You know? yeah, they went the see? extra mile it's on Stimpy's it. Stimpy's poking good. his nose on the small one. Yeah. Let, me see this one. Mm. Let me see the boogers. The boogers. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's faces on yeah. there. Yeah. They talk. Oh, they talk. Like, yeah. like they lift a chair that he puts his boogers oh, on. Oh, in the and show. In the episode, they talk to each other, the boogers. Yeah. Oh. Stimpy goes, I picked them myself. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're so I think good. that was the problem for me. It was just it was too gross for me. I couldn't watch the show. It was just. But gross. you're a kid. You're watching cartoons. I understand, but I, it was I. I could still consider things gross if I was a kid. Just because so I was a okay kid if, doesn't mean if, that. If, uh, if it's okay if Elmer Fudd shoots a rabbit, but it's oh, gross. Of if, course. If a cat picks its nose. Yes, violent cartoon violence is classic comedy. Grossness <laughs> is just '90s Nickelodeon. I never liked <laughs> slime. I didn't like. You deprived this as a child, man. <laughs> Maybe. Your dad might have too busy played watching catch with you, but you didn't watch Ren and Stimpy. I was just too busy <laughs> watching uh, Looney Tunes in Futurama. <laughs> so is it shelf-worthy, guys? No. Jack's. You know, I would say even the say The boogers actually may be shelf-worthy. No, I like really that. Cool. Put them under the shelf. Oh, with you, some uh, yeah, like earthquake down. glue you or whatever? You stick them oh. underneath like Ooh, that. Ooh, that's a major that vibe. These are... Oh, can we do like... Uh, underdog shelf-worthy? Where we just stick these right here? Ooh, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I guess it's not shelf-worthy. No, but I definitely think they're desk-worthy. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're fun for that. Yeah. I mean, that's really cool with the... The, the funny thing is, all I really wanted out of the set were these two. Yeah. The Ren and Snippy, but... I mean, the log is pretty funny, and... Yeah. I mean, these are just so great. Guys, the clock 
is running over? out. Is oh, it over? No. That, that went by so quickly. It's my was first pretty much time. it, yeah. It did. And so you're not fast. coming back for like another nine months. <laughs> Whoa. What no, you you'll do? be back. You'll be back. I use the bell be too much, guys. If you ever <laughs> are a host on the show, never use the bell that much. <laughs> not as much. Maybe not like, much. you know, just to talk Kevin Just having too, too much yeah. fun. Don't bring alcohol. So did you like did you like these ones? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you so you didn't watch the show. No, I did, and I wish I did, so I could get all <laughs> the <laughs> reference. But, <laughs> I, but grew I mean, up on Pokemon. But so this I don't is know, kind of different. This is the kind of thing that you would have like on your desk to like hang out. Like just yeah, it's so. Yeah. What kind of toys do you collect? Um, I like cause stuff. Of course. You know, Ooh. They kind of go hand in hand with like streetwear. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cause is the shoe or the toy. The toy. The toy. Cop. I don't know. Have yeah. you done a cross one day? One day Jordan we'll shoe drawing yet? No, that's another one I have to do. Yeah. So Major. what? What are Wait you? Wait a minute. If we did, if we did a bust of the cause Jordan shoe, oh. then would it be considered a cause figure? No, because then it would be considered a no. Reina figure. Oh based God. on based on cause, See? and then we would post it up on Instagram, and he would tell us to basically. Oh. Oh. Go. Here's my can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so aside from that toy and the Saturday, you're working on stuff all the time. Your Instagram's going crazy, mm. and uh, people should follow you. Please mm -hmm. follow me. And uh, other than that, I mean, is there anything else uh, we need to talk about? Or yeah. Anything else you're working on? Me? You wanna? Yeah. Um. This year's very exciting. Like thanks to you, seriously, you helped me like grow so much. Ah, um, look at that. Yeah. So. But this year is kind of busy for me. Um, Air Max Day is just around the corner. Ooh. So I'm going to be doing some cool stuff with my team in Japan. So that's really exciting. Ah, major. Um, yeah, and I have a lot of like exclusive art that I'm partnering up with different artists really? and nice. influencers. So that's wow. really exciting as well. Beautiful. That's going to be amazing. And I need to get a copy of everything. Yeah, <laughs> I need so. to get a copy of that one there. And I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> and <Don't worry>. need <laughs> needless to say, um, you're going to be back at Decon. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's very early. What's to Decon? Decon is the most amazing show ever, and this year it's in Anaheim. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. No, but um, I'm so happy that um, you because you do travel a lot and you do have a lot of things to do, and you know I appreciate when artists like yourself take the time to do the show. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're coming back. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time to do this show. Yeah, no, thank you yes. for having me. This was the, really before, fun. You, before we have to go, will you draw on our little sketchbook here? You have to draw your version of a sneaker girl toy geek. Oh, yeah, a toy geek sneaker girl. What kind of a shoe would a toy geek wear? Ooh. A toy geek? A sketcher. <laughs> <laughs> not all toy geeks wear sketches. Sorry, no, no, no. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> the rest of us wear Vans. I don't understand the, the whole shoe thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I wear the same shoe over and over every day. That's okay. That's okay. okay. So anyway, that's all. That's all the time we have. You will draw on this. Okay. Yes. Cool. Let's thank you. Uh, for everybody else out there, thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, share. Please share this. Like Raina's going to share this to all her friends, and yeah, you share yeah. it to all your friends. And uh, don't forget to tell us who you want as your artist of the month, because next episode we need to know. That's it. That's it. We'll see you guys next week. Toy Geeks. Toy Signing Geeks. Signing out. Peace.